Welcome to our Peekaboo 103 demonstration video. The Peekaboo 103 is our entry level controller. It has two minutes of animation, uh, two 10 amp relays here, uh, trigger input, uh, you got a couple LEDs on the front, one shows the status of your power, the status of your trigger, the uh, record light, the output lights, and then a record button and some output buttons. So let me just show you how this works. So basically, it works like a memory game. You hit the record button, and whatever you do on these outputs will be memorized. To play it back, you can either trigger it from the back here or press that 2 button there. That'll play it back as well. Pressing it again will stop it. Now what I'm going to do is I'll show you how we connect some stuff to these outputs here. These pull out. These are pluggable terminal blocks, so if you're in a tight spot with wiring, it can be sometimes easier to pull the terminal block out, and wire up your wires, and then stick it back in. Okay. The neat thing about the 103 and the 104 peekaboo is, is that the relays here can be uh, used to control any voltage. Here we have a 120 volt light on output 1 and a 12 volt light on output 2. Uh, basically, this is an extension cord here that we've cut and just run the wires into the terminal block. On this one we did a, a little trick. We use a normally closed pin. So that what that means is that the circuit will be normally closed, meaning that this light will be on. And then when you turn the output on, the light will actually turn off. This one we've wired up in the more typical fashion. We've used the normally open pin, which means the circuit is open. When we turn the relay on, that will turn uh, that will turn on actually, closing the circuit and allowing the power to flow. These can be uh, anything electrical. So it can be a pneumatic solenoid, it can be a fan, a motor, it doesn't have to be lights. Anything that can be controlled by an electric switch can be controlled by the peekaboo. So I just plugged in the extension cord and as you can see the light turns on. Now when we turn that output on, you can see the light turns off. This one works in the more typical fashion whenever we turn the output on the light turns on. So to record a scene just press record, dial a little animation in there, that's it, plays back, we're done. If we want to hook up a trigger, I have a trigger pre-wired here, this is our manual actor controlled trigger. If I press this button you'll see the trigger light here turn on, it activates the unit. If you want it to be automatically triggered, you can use a motion sensor here. So we have our PIR motion sensor. These take a little bit of time to warm up, probably about 30 seconds, so we'll let that warm up there. Uh, the other thing you got to watch when you're doing 120 volt stuff here on these outputs is you have to enclose this in a, a safe enclosure, like an electrical box or something. This is 120 volts right here. So if someone were to get their finger there or a tool or something, they will get a shock. So you have to make sure that you put this in a safe place. Make sure someone, no, no one's going to get shocked or you're not going to start a fire or something. All right, it's not quite ready. There we go. So once the sensor detects motion, fires off the peekaboo. The neat thing you can do with these sensors is you can actually cut a hole in a board or a wall and put this behind the hole facing towards a pathway or something. And then as the uh, patron walks by, the sensor will pick them up and fire the unit. So that's uh, pretty much it. I'll show you one more tip with the peekaboo. Disconnect this so this doesn't keep looping. Uh, the other thing you can do is actually right protect the unit so that people can't fiddle with your program. What you do to do that is you hold this uh, two button down while the unit is unplugged and then keep holding it while you plug it in. You'll see the record light flash a couple times. The unit has now been right protected. If we press record, nothing will happen. This is also a pretty uh, recurring tech support call that we receive. A lot of prop manufacturers program their peekaboos and then right protect them so that they don't get reprogrammed by mistake. So if you want to reprogram your prop and it doesn't seem to be working, 
and try setting the write protect. To put it back to a recordable mode, just do the exact same process again. Now we can record. Put our new animation in. That's about it. Thanks for watching our Peekaboo 103 video.